Okay, so today uh, we're going to be taking a look at that Sony uh, Super Betamax that I found uh, a couple weeks ago. This is the Sony SL-330. Uh, this did not come with a remote, uh, but uh, I tried programming my Logitech uh, Universal Remote and I could not get it to pair to this. So uh, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to give this a cleaning. And then I also have a blank uh, Betamax uh, still wrapped in the original um, wrapping. Uh, we're going to use this uh, to record uh, some things. And I have a setup that I'm going to get into in a minute on how I'm going to be able to get a, a picture so that I can record something on this. Uh, but first, uh, I need to give it a cleaning. Uh, this has already been tested. Uh, I actually have two tapes. So the first tape uh, that I received uh, uh, through eBay was uh, the evil Met that men do by uh, uh, starting Charles Bronson. This is uh, kind of one of his uh, classic uh, 80s movies. Uh, uber violent, uh, but cool to watch. Um, so I remember these when I was like a teenager. I think I saw this on TV. They were showing it, so they obviously cut out all the violent and uh, bad, uh, I guess, nudity parts. Uh, okay, and then also another classic that I got was uh, Rambo: First Blood Part Two, and uh, this is this I guess was released through Thorn EMI HBO Video. Um, and it came in one of those uh, rental place uh, cassette uh, cases, which is kind of cool. Um, you don't, definitely don't see these often, uh, but there's the tape. So like I mentioned earlier, uh, I already tested this and it works, but all it needs is a cleaning. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So what I'll do first is uh, I'll start by going around and taking off the screws on the side. There's a couple of screws on each side and uh, I think that's it I don't think there's any other screws so it's just the ones on the side Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Let me see if I'm gonna to try to zoom that in just for a minute. Well, we get this, uh, I guess, little layout map of uh, where everything is. Uh, I'm not too concerned with this area. Uh, the board looks actually pretty clean. There's a little bit of dust there. Um, but uh, it's actually pretty clean. So what I mainly wanted to focus on in, is this area. Uh, this is where the tape head is. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use the method uh, that most YouTubers have been using, which is dampening a piece of paper uh, with isopropyl alcohol and then placing it on the tape head and then rotating the tape head. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so what you wanna do is uh, you wanna take the paper that's damp and then on top there's uh, the little uh, tape head and then as you see it rotates okay at the bottom part right there that is the part that's moving so what you want to do is you want to get your piece of paper you want to press it gently you want to press it gently at that bottom part and then just rotate it Um, it doesn't look that dirty. I mean, it's a little dirty, but that might just be residue from the tape. I'm going to go ahead and turn uh, the paper around uh, where it's clean. And I'm going to go ahead and just repeat the process. Uh, now it looks, doesn't look much dirtier there, but I think I, whatever little residue was there that was interfering with the, uh, tape mechanism should have, should have improved it um, 
we'll go ahead and also uh, clean out the audio head. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that really quick. So currently I don't have um, any Q-tips, but um, I got a cotton ball. So what I'm gonna do is, okay, I've wet this uh, cotton ball with some more isopropyl alcohol and I'm just gonna gently go up and down the audio head. There's just basically a, just a little bit of dirt, not that much residue from the tape. We'll go ahead and uh, we're basically done. So what, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and test it and see if there's an improvement on the picture. So I don't want to get copyright stricken. So what I've done is uh, I got this uh, video and it's up basically up to the end of the uh, movie, uh, rolling down the credits. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it and see if there's a difference. Um, just, uh, you can kind of see how the inside of that Betamax works. And I'll go ahead and press play. Now I have this uh, hooked up to a Commodore uh, monitor uh, with component out, a component in. So uh, we'll be able to uh, see it through there. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. Okay. So I do notice uh, an improvement. Um, I mean, I don't think I can adjust the tracking anymore. Um, I think the tape is just old and probably has some deterioration. Uh, but for the most part, uh, there's definitely an improvement uh, from where when I bought it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, uh, I'm gonna pause, stop this for a second. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna do a little bit of recording. And like I mentioned earlier, I have uh, my Betamax that we're gonna open up right now. So what I got here is uh, my one of my old CRTs that I have in the garage that I have uh, a uh, laser disc hooked up to. I'm gonna hook up the Betamax to this. And what I have here is one of those old uh, Sony streaming devices. Um, these no longer are supported by Sony. So uh, when we, you can't really stream anything in here. I think the last time I tried, I think I was only able to stream Amazon uh, and Netflix. Uh, but other than that, I don't think anything else is supported anymore. YouTube is not supported. Uh, Hulu is not supported. So, but anyways, I'm not gonna use it to stream anything. What I have here is a USB uh with a movie that i've backed up um and i'm going to show the video uh because that movie doesn't have is not uh copyrighted so therefore uh it's basically free to the public and free to whoever wants to use it or release it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, record some samples on that betamax uh using what i've installed on this usb and uh, I'm going to hook this up to the input on the Betamax, and then we'll be able to, to record right off there. So I'm going to, it's going to take me a second to hook this up. I'll walk through how I've done that in just a second. Okay, so I uh, just wanted to give you a, a view of the back. Um, so this comes, this is uh, mono, uh, so you don't get stereo sound uh, in or out. Um, and you do have your uh, line in so that you could uh, uh, pu put something that gives out a component signal into this uh, Betamax and it can record off of it. Uh, and then uh, we also got the, a line out. Uh, there's also an in and out uh, VHF, UHF um, signal. So if you have a portable TV and you wanna uh, create some kind of rig to give out a signal, this would be capable of doing it since it has that out. Um, and then uh, just a little bit more information on the model number. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to just give you a brief walkthrough of what I've done. So uh, this did come out with composite uh, jacks and component jacks, and it also has HDMI. Uh, so the advantage to that is if you want to plug a USB and stream it through an old TV like this, this is probably a good apparatus to use. So what I've done is uh, I had this uh, cable right here towards uh, the right is uh, the component cable from the streaming box. Uh, and what I've done is I have one of these cables. Let's see if I can show this. So what I've done is I have a splitter going into the audio signal and through the mono and we're going to combine the stereo sound uh, when it's recording into the uh, cassette tape. So we will get basically a see if I can time this just a little bit loose. So what we're going to get is we're going to get a stereo signal turned into a mono signal because we're going to combine both the left and right channel. And then we have the other uh, cables. The red is going to be the video and that goes directly into the front of the CRT into video. And then it's going to go into the left channel or for that mono uh, signal that we're going to get for the audio. So now we're going to go ahead and open up our Betamax. Uh, I have no idea when this tape was released. Um, there's no actual date on any of the packaging. Uh, just kind of give you a view of what's in the back, what's in the front. So basically uh, beta one records at one and a half hours. Beta two records at three hours. Beta three records at four. Uh, hours and 30 minutes and then they also got some uh, some information about PAL uh, this Betamax uh, tape player does not do Betamax 1 so we're gonna be recording on Betamax 3 and uh, so let's go ahead and just open that up so I'm gonna get my razor I don't know if the camera can see this, but this is kind of old because you can tell that some of the paint from the actual, um, from the wrapper has basically transferred onto the carton. Just continue trying to open this. All right, let me see if I can just pull it off. I'm not gonna be able to just gonna go ahead and just slice through the wrapper. I was trying to keep this wrapper, but it's fine. So let me just pull this off. There we go. So I somewhat kept the wrapper intact. So this is the tape. Uh, definitely feels old because I mean that paint just rubbed right off into the carton. Or maybe it's the heat, I'm not sure. But uh, here's the tape. Very clean. And then, you know, I still remember these labels uh, when we get VHS tapes. Uh, you know, you write all your programs that you recorded on the label. And it even came with these little numbers that you could pull off and put into the labels. But I never saw these as being of any use because they didn't really work very well. They always used to just come right off. Um, yeah, I probably will not use this label because uh, I'm probably just going to use my label maker to label this once I figure it out what I want to record on here. Uh, but the tape looks very clean. I don't even know how to open these. That little tab there. Let's see if I can. Yep. So that's the tape right there. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try and see what we get. Okay, so I have the TV turned on right now to uh, V video two. Go ahead and turn on the Betamax. Okay, so now we're getting, I turned on the streaming device. 
one thing I didn't mention is that uh, this Beta Betamax uh, does not have a switch over to put it into the line input. What it does, it simply if you have something plugged into the uh, the line in for the vid for the composite video, uh, you're gonna get uh, the signal straight off. You don't have to do anything on the interface to get it to pop up. So as you can see, all these streaming services are here, but uh, I don't think any of them function except maybe the Amazon and the Netflix. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll over to the menu. So today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play uh, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, I, own, I own this in several different versions. Uh, I must have at least five different versions of this movie. Uh, but I go ahead and I went ahead and uh, have this is I'm playing just my backup of one of my DVDs So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play that and then Let me go ahead and let's go ahead and put Let's go ahead and uh, grab our Betamax tape So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my Betamax tape Okay, so as you can see, it's basically defaulted to Betamax 2 because there's only two recording modes, as you can see, Betamax 2, Betamax 3. We're gonna keep it at two. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the, uh, it's already on, the Super Beta. Leave the color balance at three, at two. Okay, so I have the movie selected. We're gonna go ahead and press record. There's that little button there that turns on. And then we'll push this in play. run right into the intro and we'll stop it and rewind it okay so we're gonna go ahead and stop the tape and then we're gonna go ahead and rewind we're coming back on the air after an interruption due to technical problems okay let's go ahead and play it Okay, now this is the Betamax. Yeah, unfortunately, I still get that uh, interference even with a brand new tape. So. But, um, it's not too bad. Fast forward it just a little bit so we can hear some of the dialogue. They ought to make the day the time changes the first day of summer. What? Well, it's 8 o'clock and it's still light. A lot of good the extra daylight does us. Now, we've still got a three-hour drive back. We're not going to be home until after midnight. Well, if it really bugged you, Johnny, you wouldn't do it. So the quality isn't too bad, except for that interference we're getting from the uh, Betamax. But I don't know if it's just because it's old or... Or what not, I can't get rid of that little line that comes on it so often. Uh, but I, I have to say that recording from the streaming device over to the Betamax doesn't, isn't too bad. You're getting a deep, pretty decent picture. So uh, I did not show any colorized uh, pictures of the, uh, of the video. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and record 
same movie uh, just the color version and uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, just press record and press play on the streaming device just to give you see if I make a comparison about the uh, the color All right, just fast forwarding into a few more of the action parts of this movie. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop it now and then rewind it just a bit. Okay, it is obviously just a little bit blurry, but I don't think it's too bad for the kind of signal that uh, more HD video is going to give the Betamax. I think it'll help, if anything. So my final verdict is that uh, it's kind of a neat thing to have uh, this Betamax that was made uh, over 30 years ago. Uh, and definitely uh, the tapes on Betamax are becoming more expensive. Um, I've actually tried to get my hands on a few Betamax tapes and uh, I can't get, I really can't get anything under $10. I mean, they're, they're really expensive. Uh, if you get the uh, the ones that everyone wants, probably like the horror movie ones, uh, you're play paying up to 50, 60 bucks for a tape, a Betamax tape. Um, so, I don't know. I, I pref Preferably, I think I would probably just stick to uh, Laserdisc if I want a real retro kind of uh, format. I don't think I'd go for VHS tapes. Um, VHS tapes are still kind of plentiful. Um, but the Betamax are really difficult to find. Um, so uh, I think I saw a movie that I wanted. Uh, I think it was Dawn of the Dead, the, the original 1978 uh, tape. And uh, I mean, that thing is some a seller online is trying to get 80 bucks out of it for it. And there's no way I would spend that much money on a Betamax. So, uh, but anyways, uh, I think I'm just going to maybe buy a few more blank tapes and maybe dub a few more movies on Betamax just to have them. I don't think I'd spend my money on trying to buy the the rare uh, tapes because it's just too expensive for me. And, and plus, I think I, I would much rather just collect for the laser disc since uh, I got a really nice uh, laser disc player that outputs S video. So anyways, uh, that was basically my cleanup and uh, recording or practice of recording on Betamax. Uh, thank you for joining me today and have a wonderful day.